capturing the sunset and Eric's over here, wet and sloppy. <laughs> all right, all right, now calm down. of storage and why you would seal all of the access points. So behind this drawer there's an access panel that's glued in place and the one underneath it has been sealed in place. And then over here there's a hole that's been cut into it that had this piece of wood over it. I think it went that way. Yeah. And there's a little tiny panel here. Okay. But then there's another panel here. And then again, the biggest panel to get to the actual tank has been sealed. There's no panel here underneath the, the dinette here. And there's nothing on the front. But supposedly, this is where the water tank is supposed to be. So, on this episode of This Old Boat, um, I think we're going to have to cut some of these seals open and figure out what's under here because if we're working on our 12 volt and we're working on the 110, which I can see where some of the cables are run that are above the tank, but if we're going to hook up a water pump and it's going to use a 12 volt, how am I supposed to get in there and check that the tank is sealed properly and hasn't got any other issues to it if I can't even access the water tank itself? So, now that Eric's back, I think I'm going to ask him and see what he says. Hey, honey. How am I supposed to access the water tank if everything's sealed? <laughs> You're not. Uh, this thing's got a couple of small ports in it, but you can't get to the actual water tank to do any serious work. So part of the rebuild of the main salon is repositioning the water tank and giving it all the open access as much as possible so that if you ever have to do anything to the tank, you got access. I guess I'm gonna have to break some seals. figure out where the water tank even starts. There's like... Um, I really can't tell if that's... My phone is going in the hole.
This thing's glued down, so I gotta use the pry bar because my screwdriver's too short. Actually, with both of these are custom, but is that the drain? I don't understand. a lot of fiberglass um, I guess I was expecting like the normal water tank that you actually install into the holding box but I guess I was mistaken there's still that metal section right underneath the little dinette that I want to check out but I think for today at least I know what I'm getting into I don't want to get too far ahead of myself because the idea was to work on a lot of the electrical today so we got a bunch of organizing done and uh i think we're gonna stick with that for now i said let's screw it and just take out the seti all together get to the nasty custom-made fiberglass and wood water tank and get it ripped out of there because good chance it's rotted now well the the lids just so you know that i pried off of there from the glue those those lids alone were just I can't believe they were drinking that water at all. Even though it had a double filtration system on it that we pulled. Um, that that makes me really nervous that, that people were actually drinking the water that was in that water storage. Yeah, because it was just wood with fiberglass lining. And based on how much damage is done on the floorboards and the side walls of the SETI, that fiberglass cracked and that... Drinking water became saturation water for the wood and rotted everything. Well, so far, I've still found that it was holding a little bit of water in the bottom of the tank, but that doesn't say anything because it's really hard to see clearly enough if there's any fractures through it. The only way to really do anything about it is honestly just to rip it out, start over, put a real water tank in there, something that you can actually remove if you ever have to do any maintenance on. Right? Right. <laughs> Well, guys, you're going to have to stay tuned. Um, check it out on the next video. I don't want them to run a little too long. So um, I think we're going to bust out as much as we can for the rest of the afternoon. Now that we've got some overcast, it's starting to cool off a little bit. And we will catch up with y'all next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.